What's going on, guys? Welcome back. One more bidet bug, because of course. What did that guy say? Oh, I'll never know. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic the Other Online. One clean tushy bug. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing good here. We're having a nice clean bottom. And uh, the simulation here is from Joseph T. First priority is creature lands. Second priority is gold cards and fixing lands. Uh, single color cards should only be taken if neither are available. As should always be the case, exceptions for power and pseudo power, manager and library are the only examples come to mind, but I feel like there's another I'm forgetting. So, we take creature lands. Uh, Joseph was like, I want to have a deck where you win with creature lands, but I understand if that's not, you know, it's not really super easy to do. So he said, uh, but since that's really hard to do, the backup plan is mono gold. So just a bunch of gold cards. And I usually love the gold card slash planeswalker decks, especially because there is uh, exceptions for fixing uh, second priority is gold cards and fixing lands. So they're kind of on the same tier, which is super nice because I don't like having to take all these gold cards and having either a terrible mana base or having to take all these lands and then not being able to have a, enough cards to play. So it's nice to have a kind of freedom there. Um, one good day bidet bug. <laughs> oh, bidet biddies for you as well. Oh, one clean. Yep, we got that one. All right, we're doing well. And you guys are. Yep, oh, Mock Sapphire just automatically put it in the cube. Exceptions for power. I hope this creeping tar pit comes back. That would be great. But uh, it's a Mock Sapphire, guys. We make the power Mox we are. Yep, there you go. There you go. All right, so no creature lands. So gold cards and lands are priority. I'm going to go with a Bayou here. I think Bayou is probably stronger than the Sacred Foundry. I think Mind Twist can also be... It is pseudo power. It's like channel. That being said, is it good enough though? Is it better than a Bayou? It's gotta be good, right? Someone let me know if we should take this mind twist over this Bayou. I think we should, especially with a Mox. But you know, it's no Mox Crystal, it's just the Mox Sapphire. I can see you. <laughs> Okay, well, well, one for Mind Twist, one for Bayou. I'm leaning towards Mind Twist. Yeah. Mind Twist is just such a blowout. Hissing Quagmire is great. Let's take Hissing Quagmire. That's like a Bayou. I hope this Hostage Taker or this Treachery comes back. And if Bloodbraid Elf and Hostage Shaker are gone, I'll take the Treachery for sure. I'm going to put this in the main deck because that's where it belongs. Oh, Vindicate is a nice gold card. So our priority is gold cards and fixing lands if there are no man lands, creature lands in the, in the, in the pack. So I'm going to take Vindicate. All right. Well, now you're just, now you're just making it easy for me. Uh, Tundra seems pretty Shut good. Take my money. Wow, don't spend it all on one bidet. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, how much does a bidet cost? Shut up and take my money. $34.50 on Amazon. Oh my god. Thank you, you maniacs. I want to take the Tundra. We already have a Vindicate. It's fixing. Probably better than the Signet. Bloodstained Mire. Oh, Shambling Vent. Perfect. Shut up and take my money. Five Taco Bell bucks to reset the the, the, the dupe bucks? Oh, the debay bucks, I imagine. Oh my wait, no, the dupe? I don't know what you, I don't know what you mean there, Travis. Oh, lava claw. We're literally just getting all the creature lands. This is great. We passed a creeping tar pit, but. Oh, I like an Ojitai. Like a good amount. Probably more than a Xenagos. Shut up and take my money. 
Toto Toilets. Heard you were on the market for a bidet. We have recently priced bidets for 300 Toto, are you sure you're clean? What? <laughs> Is that your slogan? Wow, that's great. That's great. Wow, this really this really took off. This is really a bidet stream, guys. Hashtag bidet stream. Shut up and take my money. Uh Yep, definitely saving this. A clean booty and a fresh outlook on life. Priceless. <laughs> Ooh, sacred foundry. Okie dokie. One more bidet buck because you're going to need it after that Taco Bell. Oh my god. Hostage taker did come back. Oh, that's gasoline. All right, so we have four gold cards, one pseudo power, one pseudo power, and five fixing lands. I feel like we're on point. We also have three creature lands so far. That's real good. The creeping tar pit did not come back, but that's fine. We got a mock sapphire of it. I'm watching this stream at the bidet myself. Is that true? Oh, Mike, my friend Mike Mike L is in this draft. He's McGimp. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <coughs> I just realized. That's great. Um, Urborg is actually pretty good. All of our cards are black so far, so having just an Urborg is not terrible. It's either that or Knight of the Reliquary, so I'm going to actually take the Urborg. Oh, or Orzhov Signet. And a Nahiri, huh? I'm going to go with the Signet. Um... I'll take Mannequin here. I think I have a strong argument committed for Totsies. 100%. I'm totally passing the gold in Mannequin. Really appreciate it, buddy. Really appreciate it. And a Mox Pearl. Because, you know, what what kind, of, what kind of draft would it be for us if we didn't open two power, right? I'm going to take Mox Pearl here. Because... You know, like you do. We didn't take the Nahiri, so... Oh, Celestial Colonnade. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's take the Colonnade. Colonnade! Whitelisted sponsored bidet for days. <laughs> what about bidet for bidets? Hmm... Ooh, Teferi? Oh, I like a Teferi. Oh, I like a Teferi a lot. Come on, let's do it. Is it Signet might be good, but it's no Teferi. Real Terror Dress of Time Walk and Ancestral Recall and MCG Crash and ask for a refund feels I would too. I'd be like no, no, you give me my ancestry called Time Walk Money. Hmm. Him to Torok. We only have one green cr green land. But it's okay, because we're not very green. We're not green at all. We're basically Esper so far. We can't take... Well, there's a gold card and there's fixing land, so we got to take one of these. I feel like these lands always screw me, and they're like my least favorite lands. I'd much rather have the check lands, like the uh, like Glacial Fortress and... 
you know, whatever. Because th these these lands always, I always draw them when I really need an untapped land. I, I feel like I regularly draw these when I need an untapped land, and these are not the untapped land we're looking for. I kind of like Dreadboard just to have it. Oh my god, Scalding Tarn. Let's talk about that. It gets Sacred Foundry right now, and it gets Tundra. So we can get white, blue, and red. Hungry Howie Bot, thank you so much for the reset. I really appreciate it. Keep bringing the, keep on being flavored and crusty. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. Wandering Femoral, another creature land that I will easily take. One more bidet buck, because you're going to need... Oh, we already read that one. There's just too many bidet bucks going on here, so I'm not really... Oh, Temple Garden? Hmm, yes. Now our Scalding Tarn can get a green. Just kidding. Quacker 2000 with the resub. Wow, almost the whole year of funding Frank's crippling magic addiction. Happiness is a worn gun and a clean bum. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Crying out loud. Boros Signet or Temple Garden? I kind of like the Signet here, but we don't actually have a way to search for green or white yet. I don't have a way to search for white. Uh, I think it's going to... Is it Signet? I feel like it's Signet here. Wow, that is a late library and a late Blightsteel Colossus. Do we have a way to take advantage of a Blightsteel Colossus? I don't think so. We already have 11, 11 lands that are... Oh, we also... There's no gold in this pack, so we can pretty much take whatever. I don't think we want library with our multicolored deck. And I think Tinker has already passed us, unfortunately. God, you ever have library on turn one? It's unbelievable. I don't take lingering souls because they can protect our planeswalkers pretty well. Ooh, Azorius Signet. Also a Garrick. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Garrick or... It's got to be the Garrick, right? We have two signets already. I'll take the Garrick. <gasps> Mystic Snake. What a, little, what a little treat. All right. No gold cards. I hope a bidet company approaches Frank with an affiliate program. Yeah, that's, that'd be good. And if you're looking for bidets for days... Yeah, we passed... Yeah, we passed library. It felt weird to do. I'm going to take the moat here. Oh, him to Torok comes back. Fixing land? Mm, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. It's not a good one. I'll take him to Torok. Phyrexian Arena is good, right? How much do we how much how much life do we have? Life gain is what I meant there. I just said how much life do we have? Charlotte's Agent actually seems good here. We can hit him, Boros Signet, Boros Signet. All right, well, I guess we're taking that. Wow, that's a last pick Bitter Blossom? Holy Jesus. How many creature lands do we have? Lava Claw, Hissing, Shambling, Wandering, Colonnade. We have five? That's actually very good. Wow, last pick Bitter Blossom is pretty nuts. Especially when we have like a bunch of planeswalkers that we want to protect. Relevant to your bidet interests, should probably reach out and become an influencer. All the cool kids are doing it. Oh my god, what are you even sending me here? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't the actual Toto Toilets account. Just saying. Uh Noble, I don't want to have turn like the odds of us having green on turn one is like zero. Zero percent. I would much rather have Kitchen Finks because it's a white card and it's a gold card, so. And it gives us some life if we are playing this Phyrexian Arena, so. I Night of Autumn is great. Uh, that's actually a reasonable gold card that I want to put in my deck. Oh, Underground Sea? Yes, please. Also Leovold, but Underground Sea is way too good. We also don't have a blue-black land, so yeah, we're taking this for sure. We can also get it with a, with a Scalding Tarn, which makes it that much. Oh my god, a Flooded Strand. Someone was like, are we going to have enough playables? And I'm like, mm, yeah. 
So Flooded Strand can now get Tundra, Underground Sea. We didn't take the Temple Garden, unfortunately. So it looks like it's only getting... Uh, no, and Sacred Foundry. So we can get four colors of it. That's pretty good. No gold cards. I'm not a huge fan of these, as you know. Bidets are just toilets that fight back, right? A bidet is just a toilet that fights back. I think it's actually Cloud Skate here. I, Cryptic Command's a little hard for us to cast, I think. O-Stone's great, but we have so many Planeswalkers and Enchantments that we're playing. I don't really want to kill those things with an O-Stone. I'm going to take this guy. What up, Tin Man? Good seeing you, sir. Coalition Relic is nice. Was there a gold card in that last pack? I don't think so, right? Please tell me there wasn't. Because I got a little distracted, so I didn't want to, like... I think it's Coalition Relic here. A Butt Butler. Okay, good. Uh, it's gotta be. It's either Sphinx or Coalition Relic. I think it's actually Coalition Relic. And Coalition Relic is real strong here. We can't take Jailer though because it's not a gold card. Um. Hmm. No gold cards. No real fixing cards. I think Swords of the Plowshares is probably the pick here. Oh, a Raging Ravine? That is a late Raging Ravine. I would love this breeding pool because we get to play, uh, because we can search for it with both Flooded Strand and with Scalding Tarn. But, and Savannah's also good too, but Raging Ravine's got to be the pick. Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, I'll take an Overgrown Tomb. Wow, our mana is really on point here. Yep, yeah, got to take a Geist, which I don't think we're going to be playing. <clears throat> Oh, Leovold comes back? Yeah, we'll take a Leovold. 100% Leovolding. And Vraska. Seems good. I don't think any of these are any good. Yeah, we can take out Mannequin. We have eight creatures. They're not really great for Mannequining. This deck actually looks great. Do we want Moat? We have Riffling, Cloudsgate, Ojitai. I don't think we want Moat. Moat shuts down so many strategies, though. Especially if we're just sitting behind a bunch of Planeswalkers. We can probably take a Kitchen Finks or Phyrexian Arena. Phyrexian Arena might be a little hard. Last time I told it fought back, I had a nasty bruise on my bum, and when I asked about it, I dropped this sweet line. Yeah, but you should have seen the other guy. Was the other guy at the toilet? Oh, wow. <laughs> Sphinx's Revelation comes back. Sure. That's a real thing. Yes, Frank. Yes. Okay. Just checking, buddy. Hey, just checking, all right? Yeah, we also have Bitter Blossom plus Moat and Lingering Souls. I think Moat is 100% uh, great. Alright, we need two cuts here. We have 13... Yeah, this is, this is great. We get four... Uh, oh, actually, 14, 15. We only get two basic lands in our deck. Yikes. Uh, just found out the Spooky Scary Skeletons videos have been de-audioed on YouTube. Oh, wait, my computer is muted. Neon Tokyo. <laughs> You're killing it, buddy. Killing it. Spooky Scary Skeletons. I'm tempted to take Phyrexian Arena out. Look at this sweet sideboard we have. Let's move these all the way on down. Oh, you're not going to do that? All right. Let's 
spooky, scary skeletons send shivers down your spine. I like Finks because of the arena, but I also like Finks because we have Bitter Blossom. But I do agree they might be worth cutting. Scalding Tarn, Raging Rain, Overgrown, Hissing Quagmire. Flood Strand can go here on the top. Shambling Vent goes here. Underground Sea. Sacred Foundry. And then Lava Claw Reaches. You guys can go all the way over there. I'll just put you here. And look at this beautiful row of lands we have. This is great. <clears throat> hey, this has been Toilet Talk with uh, your host, Frank. Just wanted you guys to send all your toilet questions over. And uh, we can talk about your poops. I'm going to put Kitchen Finks probably over here. Sure, seems good. All right. And as usual with gold decks, we are going to go properties. Oh, that's true. We do have multiple man land, the creature lands. I keep saying man lands. I want to say creature lands. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put kitchen finks instead of moat, just because the stipulation does have to. It is uh, expecting us to win with creatures, with creature lands. So that means the only one that can actually attack is celestial colonnade. So we'll see how this plays. This deck really wants a Wrath effect, though, and we just don't have one, but... Alright, so we're going over here, we're going to Properties, we're going to Analysis, and then we're going to check this guy out. Okay, <clears throat> so blue-black we have 11, white we have 7, and then red and green are our least represented. I don't know how this helps, actually. We're just going to count it once we get in there anyway. So we're going to put everything in here. Put all these in here. Sort by converted mana cost. All right. So white, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, seven. So we're probably definitely adding. Eh, seven is actually enough. We have seven white cards and nothing double white. So that's that's good. I'm okay with that. Blue, we have 11 blue symbols. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, these are both white as well. So seven. We can probably add one island. Teakwood, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. And black, we have 11 as well. And we want double black for him to Torok. We do have a Orzov Signet as well. So, and we have an Urban Arborg. One, two, three. Scalding Tarn gets underground, so four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seems good. Nine seems okay. Let's see. Red, we don't really need anything. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven red sources and two red two red symbols. Sure. More than more than good. Green is the only one I'm questioning. We have Hissing Quagmire, Overgrown Tomb, Raging Ravine. We only have three. And we have a coalition relic. We don't need double green though, which is nice. So I'm, I am probably going to add one, one, one awkward forest that we can't actually search for. But it doesn't hurt us from playing. It helps us play Leovold. It doesn't hurt us with Knight, Kitchen Finks, Ashiok, or Vindicate because it can fulfill the colorless role. And same thing with everything else. There's nothing else that like Dreadwar and Him to Torak are the only cards you can't cast with it. So let's give this a whirl. This deck looks sweet. Uh, I don't think we want 18 mana sources just because we do have two signets and a coalition relic as well. So we're not actually like low on mana sources. I guess I'll keep this. Double blue, double blue, Kitchen Finks. We can't... We can cast the Kitchen Finks. I'm going to mulligan this hand. This hand is a lot better. So this is like Pearl Tundra into Signet. I don't know if that's great, though. Yeah, that's actually pretty good.
Is there a reward for creature kill land kills? Uh, no. The reward is the stip, I think. If you got the 4K TV and have Amazon Prime, look up the TV series Prime Japan and watch episode 5 is exceptionally relevant to our bidet conversation. Also, the show looks amazing in 4K. Interesting. <clears throat> so they played an island on turn 2, and then they put an island into play, so they should have forest in hand. I'm going to kill the second island here. This could be greedy, but... I mean, they're, I don't want them to have so, that much... I don't want to have that much mana. I guess they... I guess they feel the same. Well, that was our black source, so that's pretty awkward. <clears throat> but... We still have swords. We have hostage taker if we can hit a black another black source. Urborg. Riftwing, Cloudscape. Let's just play that guy. And by play, I mean we'll play it in three turns. Seems good. Yep, get a bunch of 1-1s. One -ones. <clears throat> Three 0-1s. Oh seems good. Yeah, this doesn't seem terrible for us. Mildly annoying. Yikes. I would like a land here. Land would be great. Yep, Trigon Predator is problematic. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> well, that's awkward. That is awkward. So we play this, they just kill it. But it does give us, like, it's it still gives us something else to... So I guess they're going to kill this, which is whatever. Are you coming down this turn? Fashionable late to the party? One turn too late? Dang. All right. Well, <clears throat> we're close. Pentad Prism for one. Hmm. That's a bold strategy. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh, you want double blue so you can play your, uh, I don't know. Vivian Reed? Jace the Mind Sculptor? No, none of these things. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, so, same as last turn. Um, let's actually hold back because we can block this guy next turn. Yeah, if they had a chance to bribery or Tamio, I don't know why they wouldn't because Tamio is going to accomplish the same thing this guy does by keeping one of our mana sources tapped. So, actually, it seems like it was a reasonable play, but... Well, that worked out well. All right. So, Underground Sea is 
definitely the pick here. And then we play this guy. All right, <clears throat> that feels good. Now we got a hexproof five four to block this trigon predator, and we just hope they don't go five six seven eight crater hoof. Okay, they did not. They did not do that. We could hostage take or steal this guy. Five, six, seven. Puts him off greater half mana. We could do all three of these things. I want to get to watch that 4K Japan Prime show. Well, that is an option. Um, well, I don't want to lose one of these, but I do want to mind twist you. So what do I do? I guess we can give you one turn and then mind twist you next turn. That's my guess. No, I don't want to mind twist because then we lose our fifth land. And then it's just bad. Yeah, we can mind twist next turn. If they don't play anything, then we get four cards instead. So. That's weird. Do they... Oh, fast bond? Sure. Five, six, seven, eight. Are you just gonna are you gonna create a hoof now? You could have created a hoof last turn, but you're gonna create a hoof this turn instead. Hmm. Treachery. Treachery Ojitai. I don't know why you tap the mox there when this untaps five lands. And I don't Oh yeah, yeah, that's why you use the Pentad Prism, sure. Well, that's pretty good. We can hostage shake our own Ojitai here, which is pretty nice. And then if we lose our hostage taker, we get to get our get our own Ojitai back. Could have blocked with four, but that worked. That's Urborg again, like we did last Urborg. That doesn't make any sense. Wow, they had Terrastin on? That's what they were sitting on? Wow. Well, this game turned around. <sighs> oh, that's that's nice. I mean, it's less nice because we don't have a green source, but we'll hit one right here, right? Ready? No, that's close. It's not close to a green source, but... Oh, 
Oh, I just clicked right through. Didn't untap my lands. Doesn't really matter, but it's still obnoxious. All right, that's a thing. That's not really a thing. One, two, three, four. Tireless Tracker off the top. This is why you should hold your land drops when you have Tireless Tracker in your deck. So we can tuck you, Dreadbore you. You block here, you take two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's good. Hey, tuck you, buddy. <clears throat> and we won with a creature land in our very first game. Meanwhile, Mystic Snake stuck in our hand with no green. Mm, seems good. Mode seems nice, but they do have... God, do I want Sweltering Suns? Are we going to ever have double red? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe. It's very possible. Sweltering Suns seems great here, though. I just opened a pizza box that was delivered a minute ago. It looked pretty juicy, so I said, that's nice out loud. A second after I heard you saying, that's nice. Yeah, the universe is a simulation. Hmm. I'm just going to submit. Um, yeah, you can keep this hand. Turn two, Bitter Blossom, or, uh... Oh, or we can just turn one Riffling Cloud Skate here. This, these Pentad Prisms on one are pretty, pretty nuts. All right. All right. We're doing it. What Planeswalker do I think is underrated in modern? <clears throat> I'm not sure, actually. I like that we can Scalding Tarn for four next turn, which is probably game winning. Yeah, that's fine. This guy's coming down. We just get to bounce that guy. You have no blue, and we're going to make you discard almost your entire hand. If we can draw Mox Pearl here, we just get to make you discard your entire hand. 
And you have no blue sources? My god. We have no way to get green, which is the most frustrating thing. I think we're just going to get underground sea. Wow, Ancestral, Natural Order, and Harmonize. So the one card you kept is a blue card. So the one card you have is Trigon Predator. That's pretty insane. That seems real greedy to not Harmonize there to try to hit a blue source. Let's harmonize like we did last summer. Oh, green source. It's like I've always wanted. So one, two, three, activate one, two, three. <clears throat> if we hit any land, we can actually attack with multiple creature lands. Which really fulfills the stipulation. Oh, look at that. Look what they did. Look what you did. Can we activate this? We go red. And now we don't have we only have one red, so we can't activate this and dread bore something. So I guess we gotta activate this guy. So we activate you, we attack with everything, and we kill the Trigon Predator. That seems about right. They just block here, but whatever. All right. Well, that match went well. It was actually relatively cold in here. What's the temperature outside? I don't even know. Sixty six, jeez. Well, it all makes sense now. Sixty six is is chilly. I'm 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 fr it's frigid in here. Uh, this is actually okay. We can get a black source. We can riffling cloud skid on turn two. If we hit a second black source, we can. We're gonna get underground with this, and then we have coalition relic, which turns on our whole hand. Turn off your central air. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is, it's it's on heat right now. I actually want to get a Tundra to get rid of the snake. It doesn't give a second black, but Coalition Relic does. And it also lets us suspend our dude. Oh, that's fascinating. Black source or any land really off the top, and we have a very, very like because it also lets us play Night of Autumn. 
So if they try to uh, play a, a thing, a relic thing. It's 27 here, I feel for Yeah, it's rough. Oh, there you go. That's a relic thing. It's a black. It's not the right black. That's rough. Chad today. Frank doesn't eat a lot of meat. Surprise, Pikachu. A bidet is a superior cleaning way. Surprise, Pikachu. People in different climates have different temperature preferences. <laughs> Surprise, Pikachu. All of these are factual. Wow. Peace out. I think we're still a little far behind here, but we're not dead. We take eight and we go to eight. Ooh. I do say Florida. Florida. Oh, they discard their progenitus. Ha, what a great draw. What a great draw. Is this guy coming down yet? I feel like it should, right? This should be the turn. Nice. <sighs> We're at 16. Did they, did they not attack us? Oh, I got an oops. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a big oopsie. We could knight to get rid of this. We could also just hostage taker, but they're going to play Garrick and kill this if we don't. So I'm going to actually just play the knight. Oh, we actually get to kill this. That seems good. Eh. Uh. I think this gives us a better chance if there's no land, and of course there is. Dang it. Crater hoof on the top. Well, that's a thing. Let's do that. We'll go to 10, and they have 8 on board, so we're not strictly dead. Crater Hoof is a pretty unplayable thing. No, I don't care about the hoof in hand. Like, we, we have him to Torok. We can hit it. <clears throat> oh, boy. Blocks. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Vraska is okay. Him is two. We can go him, him, hostage taker. Hmm. We don't need a black. I guess we'll just add a blue. I don't think it matters. Play a land. Six total mana. I have no idea what to do here. Did you know Baby Shark is now Billboard Top 40 song? That's really cringy. Uh, uh, why? I like Vraska make a guy, but then Vraska just dies, right? I guess we block here. It takes seven. Goes to one. Oh, we're at two. We're at two life. Yeah, that's true. I think we're dead. <laughs> we have to deal with like three of these things. Yeah, that's not that's not possible. Poppable. That's not poppable. What about our life total? I actually uh, had not considered that. Did they Garrick last turn? Is that why? No, they made a wolf. That's weird. I felt like we had more life than that. Moat seems pretty nuts. Again, against this deck. Um... So does Sweltering Suns. Take out Leovold. And we'll submit with 61. Fair 41. Yeah, I don't hate this hand. Turn two Kitchen Finks. Not the most exciting Kitchen Finks, but Kitchen Finks nonetheless. The double red, we have actually more red sources than green sources in the deck. Say, like, we have double red right now. I don't want to hear it. We have, like, seven or eight red sources, not including Coalition Relic. Like, we actually have a, t a tremendous amount of red sources in the deck. Just because we don't have a lot of red cards does not mean, uh... It doesn't mean anything. Okay? You can never hit double red. <laughs> oh, solid. Wow. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked, you nerd. Does the V stand for very nerdy? Do you kill my kitchen fink or one half of my kitchen fink? No, I didn't think so. Let me draw the other mocks here so we can attack this Garrick. All right, there's like nothing going on here. <gasps> but double, but my double red. That's a yikes for me, dog. Uh, 
Oh, that's a thing. Well, that's something. Hmm. Well, I have one card in hand. Are there realistically any good Venser, the Sojourner decks in Modern? I've been thinking about... I, I really like Venser, the Sojourner, a lot. I think it's a really fun Planeswalker. I don't know if there's any good Venser decks in Modern. There aren't any currently. But does that mean none exist? I don't think so. I think we just attack again, and next turn we can rev. Sure. The fact that he top ticket definitely makes it better, like sticking the landing on a mediocre routine. You know, seven out of ten got him after draws. How dare you? You need to go. You need to go somewhere. Oh, we're just gonna vindicate that. What did they get? Did they get anything? Like nothing. So one, two, three, four, five. We can activate this. Let's get rid of the Marari's Wake in case they draw, like, Progenitus or something. Not, like, Progenitus, but, like, Crater Hoof. I don't think, like... It just makes their draws much worse. I mean, if they, they played a Forest. So, like, either they had the Forest in their hand last turn, and they didn't play it. Or they drew it. And whatever they had in their hand last turn, they still can't play because they have significantly less mana than they did last turn. Discard Emrakul. Let's see what you get here. So you played a forest, and then you got Corsair Crucifix. Now you're just going to draw this forest. That's no bueno. Three, four, five. You're one shy from being able to activate and play. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Now we're just going to play this, and you're going to draw this, and then you should be dead, right? Because that's perfect. Like you're drawing this, hundred percent. So your hand is going to be forest, and you're going to have you're going to go to four life, and then you're going to die to colonnade. Well, that's too bad. Yep, I'll take four. No, no attacks. Okie dokie, and got him. Are we two zero? Oh, that was just game two. Dang it! I was real excited about the two zero. I want to do any first tip. How does one? How does only drafting three corner mana cost or undercard sound? That actually sounds pretty good. I think that's definitely doable.
I feel like our deck is definitely performing pretty well. Oh man, look at also we have double red for sweltering suns, guys. Keep it in mind. Oh wow. So we're gonna go this into Sacred Foundry, likely to uh shut off their things. They're groundy boys. Alright, well, this is a lot, but you only have two cards in hand, so I guess that's good. Was this a Trigon Predator deck, or was that the first one? I think that was round one, wasn't it? Stimulation only draft three CMC or lower. All right, sweet. <laughs> Afro 2, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I will put this in the queue. I likely have to stream sometime this weekend as well because I'm getting LASIK on Tuesday. And I don't know how... I guess I can probably stream the day after LASIK, but I actually have no idea. Okay, so we're going to go... There's probably Creature Lands. Did that one. Bold. All right, cool. Nope, I will take one. We don't... I don't think I want to take the extra two here. We can just get uh, Tundra. Which is actually probably fine. We have all our colors. We have all the black we need. We have double red. So our red and black is fulfilled. That seems real good. I kind of like that. That's actually great. They can't do anything with this Garrick, right? They can just make a million tokens, and we can counter anything they play that tries to get by. Blue, blue, green. Uh, we actually have to play another land here, though. Because we'd have to activate this, and we'd have to use either one of the green or the two of the blue. So we actually have to play Island first. And now we just keep it Mystic Snake, which is pretty sick. Like, they have one card in hand, so like we get to just stop anything they want to do. With our snaky boy. They have not shown Ulamog yet. Which is a little scary. Reeves! I wasn't going to, but I probably could. Since you are here, it does make it more convenient. Oh god, whatever this is, we're countering it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't be an old mog. Are you just leveling up this a million times? Oh, they have no cards in hand. Oh, that's great. Any room for steps? I think there's always room for steps. I kind of want to vindicate this, but then, like, they can't really do anything with it, right? Huh. I'm lurking at work, so I'll probably have to watch on YouTube later. Yeah, that would make... That's, that's pretty common. Oh, yeah. Mox Pearl. Keep them coming. 
But now, like, we're, we're really banking. Like, the, the fact that we've let this Garrick go so far is, means, like, we either keep our moat around forever or we die. Which means we kind of want to get Vindicate out of our hand. Because if they do, do play Emrakul and we counter it, they still get our turn, which means they can Vindicate our moat and just kill us. It's actually pretty good. I wonder if we could just... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I wonder if we could just plus Vraska enough to like, to like put her to one, make a make a bunch of guys, and then put their life total to one. Do we have any way to just deal one point? I want to get rid of this because if they play like Emrakul, um, then it's real bad for us. And we'll play this. The problem is Vraska is also pretty bad. I mean, we could just play Garrick to kill this Garrick as well. So it's just Garrick killing Garrick. Can we play that? One, two, three, four, five. Not yet. So I'm just going to actually take a risk here and play the Garrick. No, maybe not. Maybe. They get one turn, right? Why isn't it green? I literally just added the green. I use this to add green. Oh, are we we're paying one? Sure. Signets or something else. One, two... All right, we just have to hope they don't top deck Emrakul, I guess. And and of course, you know, what are the odds of that, right? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's actually totally fine. Don't care. I was getting real worried for a second there. Uh, create a beast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep uh Mystic Snake up and then we'll play Ojatai next turn with the Vraska back up. Or Mystic Snake back up. Like we're getting to a point where like even Emrakul, like we'll just have a bunch of guys to back up so we don't actually need Um what do you call it? Oh, we can also play Vraska next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then have the clue. We can get rid of the Mirari's Wake. Yeah, this is pretty good. One, two, three. Oh, we only have one. And eh, we have to use the green. We'll use the green from... Uh, And we just win the match. All right. So apparently, Moat plus Garrick plus Vraska is enough to uh, get your crush on. Uh, yeah, our deck seems pretty sweet, surprisingly. And we're already at that 2-1 point, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, they were pretty much in top deck mode for like 13 turns. Turns out Moat plus uh Moat plus uh Mystic Snake backup is pretty powerful. That's a powerful wizard. 
Uh, do you think MTGO print cards that get rid of emblems? I don't think so. And the reason is... Uh, Crutch Jr., you can check out my Twitch profile. The information is in my Twitch profile. You can email me at frank at franklapore, or you can just donate and then have the, the, the stipulation as your message. But, um... I don't think they'll ever have a card that, that can get rid of emblems. And the reason is because emblems kind of take place outside of the game. But like, I don't know. It's weird because you have cards like Pull from Eternity where you can like bring a card from exile into the game. You know what I mean? So like it has happened before. There is a precedent for it. I also think it's way too narrow, like, because you have to consider the percentage of cards ever is a long time, but it's also like, it's also a matter of like in design perspective, it's also a matter of relevancy. Like how relevant is it to have an, an answer to emblems? And it's very low. Are emblems ever really a thing though? That's, that's what I'm getting at right now. It's like, you have to consider the percentage of games that actually have an emblem happen. And it's really, it's really close to it's probably it's probably under under five percent, I would imagine. Are emblems classified as permanent? No. Otherwise, you could interact with them. Also, I don't know what to have for dinner, guys. Uh, we're definitely going to play Hissing Quagmire because it puts us closer to Leovold. However, we do need some help for that. Now the question is, do we borrow Signet next turn or do we Wandering? I think we Wandering Fumarole because then we can go... Or no, I think we go we go borrow Signet because then the next turn we can Wandering Fumarole. Oh, wow. Dueling Leovolds over here. What happens if there's two Leovolds? Like, neither of us can draw cards from each other and, uh... Have spaghetti. <laughs> this is where they go Time Twister, and then we just discard our whole hand. Oh, come on, don't do it. Okay, that's not bad. I don't want to push it, but I wanted to know the doubling season. Uh, I, you have, I have, like, three other people before you, buddy. And also, um, I'm creating the whole deck from scratch, which is not usually what I do. So it's going to, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure when it's going to happen, but it might be a little bit. I also don't like to put stuff like that. Uh, I don't prioritize deck stuff when there's the cube up because the cube is so limited. If that makes sense. I'm sure it does. I don't know why I said if that makes sense. All right, there we go, there we go. If you have three emblems, it is a sandwich. <sighs> well, that's something right there. Here comes the old time twister. I'm waiting for it. Oh, Ojitai. Yeah, we're just way behind right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have seven mana. That's pretty good. No, it's definitely not forgotten about. It. I definitely have I have a list of, of things that I have to that have been suggested or uh requested. What are we playing here? Leovold and we can mind twist for four, play Leovold. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We have a green, we have a blue. We need a black. Let's get a black. I guess we're getting Tundra here. So 
So we're gonna add you, add you with that. We're gonna go mind twist you for three. Oh, we get to hit this one too. So we probably should have done it for four, but then we don't get to play Leovold. I'd rather just play Leovold here. We also should have played Leovold first. Oh man. Oh no, that was the, that was the first card they've drawn this turn, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Yeah, so it was all right. It worked out okay, but I mean, they still have a Dragon Lord Ojitai. That's a pretty powerful wizard. Yeah, like even Reeves, Reeves in the chat was also asking. And the only reason I, I, I've postponed things is because of the cube, I try to get uh, the most out of the cube as I can because it's also very, very popular and also because there's actually been a surprising number of stipulations this go around, so. Um, yeah, I don't want to go to eight here, so we're just going to trade, unfortunately. Yeah, playing Leo first wouldn't matter, because it says uh, each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn, so that would have been the first card they drew on our turn, so it doesn't really... Well, that's awkward. No, it's not. I guess it's fine. Yikes. Oh, we also don't have another green, so this is pretty much over. Yeah, all right, Mystic Snake was a good one. All right, so we're basically playing the mirror match with Mystic Snake, Dragonlord Ojitai, Leovold, a bunch of fixing lands. All right, well. That being the case, I have no idea what to do here. <laughs> Remember, you can't play double red. Josh VS, never forget, buddy. Never forget. I will play first. This hand's rough. We can't. We have no black and no green. We have five drops. Yeah, we're gonna ship this hand. Oh, that's also worse. This is how it goes. Yeah, this is a keeper. I'm bottom this. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So now we need a blue or a black. Preferably a blue. Preferably an uh, underground sea would be great. So we got Scalding Tarn, Fledged Strand, or Underground Sea to really kick this off here. Yes! <laughs> uh, we have no white card. Oh, we have Pearl, so we can get Underground Sea. Wow. Thrun. Thrun next turn's probably pretty good. <clears throat> pretty, 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 pretty good. We got Thief of Sanity. Hmm. We don't have that many creatures. It might be worth just throwing a Thrun out here. But then we lose our Ashiok, right? Hmm. Wow, Mana Drain and Scarab God? 
Oh, what hits. What beautiful hits. Oh, that was gas. Wow. Wow. Well, that's one way to prevent uh, Scarab God from coming back, I guess. Thief of Sanity is definitely one of my favorite cards in, in Ravnica. That's definitely ours. No, that's not ours. It doesn't say ours. Mm, interesting. Dreadbore, sure. Well, that's something. That's ours, I guess. Well, I guess we get to Vraska if we untap. <laughs> this is like, yeah, they have this in Quagmire, they have Coalition Relic. Knight of Autumn and Scalding Tarn into the trash can. Like, if they just have Mystic Snake here, it's so brutal. I think we can probably pack it up if they have a Counterspell. Yep, that's really obnoxious. Seems good. Wow, from turn three Ashiok to uh They took our Dreadbore and killed our Vraska or killed our Ashiok and then countered our Vraska with it. Oh man. Forever two O's. Forever silver trophying. I don't know why you would ever play your creature before finding a card with Thief, right? Because, yeah, that's that's rough. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then they can attack with his and Quagmire, and we literally have no way to. I guess we have Huntmaster of the Fells, but five, six, seven, they got a four, yeah. We're going to play it out because we it's like going to be one more turn. God, Mystic Snake, why have you forsaken us? Losing to Snake is like being stabbed by your newborn. <laughs> why? That's so bad. And then once you cross the river, the snake bites you, and you're like, why did, Why would you do this? And they're like, B you knew I was a snake. And you're like, dang, he's right. Really? Draw a card, draw a card. This is like this is like the new this like this card kind of fulfills the same role as Ashiok, right? It's a it's a three mana blue black card. It mills you for three every turn. And you have the potential to play the cards that you get from it, right? Like, it's has a very, very similar feel to Ashiok. I wonder if Thief of Sanity is good in Modern. Oh, I want to play Thief of Sanity in Modern. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Interesting. Shut up and take my money. I don't think that does it, though. Crutch Jr. Stiff draft idea. A fun wildfire upheaval deck. Upheaval and wildfire must be taken. Everything else is your choice. Have fun. All right, sweet. Do I have to take both? Because upheaval and wildfire in the same deck seems bad. Can I pick the first one I see and then draft around that? Okay, hold on. I'm actually I'm going to have to write all of these down. I think we're actually just... Let me finish this game first and see what's going on here. I want you to play Thief of Sanity Mountain. Me too. Okay, cool. I will, I will add or then. Um, do we just take? We take Shut this, take and then we die. No, we don't die. 
We kind of die. One buck snake. One buck snake? You mean one snake buck? Whatever. I'll make it blue. I I think I I think I see what you did there. We have to steal a flyer. God, I get to draw a card. Leovold, dude. Take it easy. I'm pretty sure we're dead. It is just a better Nightville Spectre. Yeah, instead of one card, you get three. Uh, it's easier to cast. The only downside is that it's a 2-2 two -two instead of a 2-3. But then you get to cast the card using any color mana, not just the, the color that it is. <laughs> Sounds like this is why I just put it. Yeah, the land destruction one. It'll just be like Armageddon's and Wildfires. That's a twofer. Yep, that'll do. All right. So you kill this guy. We have the block here. We take. We go to one. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. Yeah, their deck was nuts. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending this video. So uh, don't go anywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. And uh, meundies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off. Free shipping and free returns. The link is in the description below. Continuing the buck snake. <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you so much for the support. I will see you next time.